Yeah, this is a good steel right here. Look at that heavy, heavy metal, man. Heavy metal. That is some heavy angle iron. I don't even know what these things are. Well, there's something that could break the window if I keep that up, huh? in the Ryobi bag here. Feels kind of heavy. Look at your... <clears throat> we'll go inspect it later on. I gotta get to the scrapyard. Wow, people don't want to slow down. Maybe some of that stuff works. I've never seen one of these before. A Ryobi tool bag that's got wheels on the bottom. The dream is on. Look at that load. Look at that load. And I'm not going to overload. Because I'm not in the neighborhood. I put it with maybe about a little over a thousand pounds. Don't want to overload. You right? All scrapped out at the scrapyard. Ready for the next loads. You onwards. Back here, there's still there's quite a bit left. I'm moving at a snail's pace, I swear. Plus, I didn't want to wait, which I should have, so I could get rid of that. But I gotta be careful not to overload it because there's a lot of cops around. This is easily two more loads. I mean, if it was in the neighborhood, I would just take it off. But. Well, I got all these. That one's empty. Use that rack right there. I don't know how many are left. I put 74 in here this time, and uh, well, the hinge finally gave up the ghost. The door here actually snapped. So I get this ratchet strap attached to the frame. Hopefully it will hold. This is going to be a hell of a disaster. I don't know, there's probably like 30 something left. <clears throat> uh, I sure hope I make it back. Without a catastrophe. Lord have mercy. <laughs> uh, onward. Alright, back here. And, uh, ooh, I got too close. I'm actually at, uh, yeah, I'm too close. This is uh, Lex Luthor's uh, factory. Maybe we can figure it out. You know, the guy that's 
three times richer than Elon Musk. That guy. big shots. They need to see what the progress is. And these need to be gone. All loaded up. There's 43 of them. You. I guess I'm going to take these pallets too. I guess I mean, there's about 200 Some of the standard uh, 48, some aren't. The ones that aren't are only worth a buck. Like this right here, that's a dollar. Those are three dollars. or 50 cents for a dollar, I think. At most, this is worth about 200 bucks. It's a lot of work. I don't know if I should take that on. Thinking about it. Onward. Okay, what was in the Ryobi bag? Got this saws all here, no battery on the bottom, 18 volt, Move vacuum cleaner, no battery, <laughs> I don't know, help me out here. Something. <laughs> Black and Decker uh, Jitterbug Sander or DA type of sander. Welcome, welcome in kingdoms if they go. They probably do. We'll do that. Belt Sander. Black and Decker. Plug in kind. I, I'm starting to actually like the plug in devices more than the battery powered ones. Oops, I don't know. What do you call this kind of sander? Jigsaw. No battery. There's more in here, I think. Or did they take the batteries and the battery charger? Apparently they did. For some reason, there are no batteries whatsoever, just tools. Nothing. That's it. Without batteries and chargers, almost. Okay, well, this one I plugged it in, this one works. What about the rest of the plug ins? story on the radio about the guys that found the gold. Doesn't that figure the FBI would get involved? Anytime it comes to like something that there's a real lot of.
sounded like it was working. Sounds like the boat driver out to lunch. So we know that one's toast. This works. So that thing don't work and there's no batteries for these. You guys hear that story about those people that found all that gold? Wow. So when the federal government, when the FBI found out about the gold, they swooped in with some armored cars and SWAT team personnel. And they uh, <clears throat> made the people that found the gold give it up. Ain't that a rock?